Hi friends, today we'll be making a bullet and uh, as on your screens you can see a bullet is there and this bullet is completely modeled in uh, Fusion 360 though it's not a very big object, it's very small object and uh, it does not contain any much complexities so it will be not taking much time for us to complete this stuff uh, the major portion, the major part will be uh, making the sketch of the particular thing and nothing more than that but uh, let us not concentrate only on modeling I'll be giving you some basic uh, idea of what bullet is also so bullet is uh, anything that is fired from a gun a projectile that is fired from a gun that causes fatalities uh, hits the target as well and uh, causes casualties and fatalities whatever uh, moreover this bullet uh, the word bullet actually comes from the French word that is uh, bullet and uh, this B O U double L E T something and uh, this means small balls actually in medieval ages when the guns were at a very primary stage uh, in those days the bullets were uh, uh, round in shape but as the times evolved uh, and um, bullets evolved and the shapes got more dynamic and more uh, precise might be uh, what right now we have uh, seems to be a very optimized form of bullet but might be within next year's bullets would be of completely different shape sizes uh, as per the understandings of the future generations what they see the bullet like you know so let us now model this stuff but before that we will also get some nomenclatures of the thing so this is a typical bullet what you see on your screens the bullet comprises of four main parts essentially the first one is this in this particular area is called this projectile this and this actually shoots out of the gun this is the shell which contains the propellant or gunpowder you can say it's also called as a bullet case so uh, and this is the primer okay and the primer is the place where the striker of the gun hits very hard and that causes a fuse to get this propellant ignited and explodes very uh, very heavily and this bullet is then shot out of the barrel so this is the basic working of a bullet you can just see over here also this is this uh, primer this is the propellant this is the bullet case and this is the main projectile that is being fired from the gun outside okay now today we'll be making a remington uh, remington uh, bullet remington bullet and this is of 0.240 something 25 caliber okay so you can just have a look this is the bullet that we are going to make today and uh, actually in artillery bullets are made uh, in the measuring system of caliber uh, but calibers uh, are specifically used in artillery okay so many of us might have heard uh, that is a 100 caliber bullet uh, 120 caliber bullet might be 90 caliber bullet 90 mm bullet 9 mm bullet sorry something like that caliber system one caliber is roughly equal to 25.4 mm okay one caliber is equal to 25.4 mm just write it down one cal equal to 25.4 mm okay 2.5 uh, i'm just a bit uh, confused i'll just check it out okay so here is one image over here that we are going to refer uh, and we are going to model a bullet with reference to this one so you can just see the completely out the section of the bullet over here and uh, and all the dimension and all the dimensions here are in caliber okay so 0.212 is nothing in mm 0.212 has to be something in caliber okay so let us uh, convert this image into i have uh, for the ease of uh, construction i have converted this bullet into mm also so you can just see i have taken out time and i have just made this convert so we'll refer this 0 0.804.804 into 25.4 so this is 20.42 the value we have over here so the values here in the red are nothing but the values in millimeters so i have converted this into millimeters okay as we are not so used to uh, be measuring system of caliber for my ease of work i have converted these values to mm right now now let us start the bullet okay now uh, so this is the bullet and i guess this this out of all of them uh, this one is the bullet that we are going to make okay so let us start first of all i'll be opening the fusion 360 this way okay i'll take a new file new design over here and uh, essentially right click over here and make sure that your do not capture design history is turned off and you have a design history over here okay your origin always is turned off i don't know why why these people do so uh, your origin should be on over here that is the greatest thing that you can refer to 
shift and middle mouse button is nothing but the arrow now we'll be making the bullet in the upright position right so i'll say create sketch over here in the solid in the create sketch and i'll be saying that this is my sketching plane okay once i create the sketching plane i'll be making a vertical reference line which one i'll just change to the one this one the the centered line that you can see on your screens this is the line we are going to make very first okay so let us make it i'll just uh, make sure that my uh, in my sketch palette i click on the construction tool and i just click and draft it okay so roughly the maximum height of the bullet is 138.5 over here so i'll be saying it 150 okay so this is the 150 length of dimension i'll click and i'll say fix so that it does not lose its position okay lose its position okay now we have made this now what we need to do is we need to place the extreme point of the bullet okay we are just going to make the half portion of the bullet and then we are going to model it so that will be pretty easy uh, to do, uh, do uh, similarly so this is the hidden line and from this point to this point my the extreme point my dimension is 20.42 by 2 as it is a diameter i need to take the half that is 20.42 by 2 so what i can do is I can just click this and I can say oh that is offset after saying offset my line will come over here this is minus so what I need to do is minus what I need to do is say minus 20.42 by 2 because we are going to take half okay so automatically this dimension comes by 1021 this is one of the most beautiful thing in fusion 360 okay so we have this line on which we have to make this vertical line over here okay. this thing is being done now this is the primer over here so the dimension is uh, something 17.2 by 2 so one minute yeah offset by this again minus 17.2 by 2 so 8.60 actually this dimension is this one okay this small land what you are able to see on your screen here and this minute primer dimension is out here that is 8 so i'll be making that as well so the division of 8 i know so i can directly write down minus 4 okay now we have a line over here i can just make a line over here i can make that line into a construction line of course okay i can shift it upside that is 2.1 mm i can just write it down as 2.1 mm this way i had made this line as well okay and uh, the height of the primer is some 5.38 so offset from this point again 5.38 okay so i have made this total assembly now what i need to do is line i need to close this construction symbolize starting from this point so you know this point my line is starting from this point okay proceeds to this one proceeds to this one goes to this one something is wrong over here yeah now it's fine we have these lines line and stop it over here at this point at this point okay and the primer is something from this point this point this point to this point so we have these lines over you know what we are going to do is we'll think to we'll be going to make this slant now this slant is having no dimensions over here just it is going to rest way so let us make it uh, something like you know it is going this way and i can just say 135 so that it gets an at an angle of 35 degrees okay so i can just trim t and click this so we have this outer shell now okay now line now we have to make this point over here this is at a distance of 76.35 from the base so from this point it comes at 76.35 at this way okay so i just turn it again to a construction line okay so what i'll be doing is right now is i'll be creating this from this point i'll be going this way and i need to make a slight slight degree you know these things are having some kind of graph angle over there is a slight inclination let us assume that the inclination is of one degree okay 
so I'll be saying okay I'll be going this way and I'll be saying 91 91 away okay so this is a bit slant away and we can just simply trim away so that we can we get a point away so my slant starts from this point to this point so we get uh, we have got to this point now what we have to do is we have to create this ridge also so this ridge, uh, this line uh, is at a distance of 100 mm from the baseline so everything is a baseline okay 100 i'll place and i'll place this line at above 100 okay again this is a construction from this top line i need to come down by 16.1 so again i have to make a line over here again the reason is fusion does not entertain uh, repetitive fillets uh, sorry offsets so you have to create a line and say minus 16 point uh, what it is 1 okay minus 16 point 1 so this is the line let us make this also a construction line right so right now what we have is we have this point and we have to go and slant it to this point i just I, i'll just make this as well this diameter this diameter is 14.2 given here so i'll say offset minus 14.2 by 2 so we have this intention as well i'll click it away from this point i have to make a line and just make sure i'm going the correct way this this land is too small no issues i'll just place from this point to this point okay so this is my one of the point now i'll be making a line straight from this point to this point exactly okay so this one this one these two things are to be offsetted by distance of point let us say the shell thickness of the bullet is 0.5 mm and uh, this is the shell of that thing now right from this intersection point okay at this point i'll be making a straight cut line over here that is coming down below at a distance of let us say this is a 90 degree thing okay and i'll click this at this point and i'll close it over here okay i'll take a fillet command over here and at this point as we have a fillet over here let the fillet be of 4 mm we have a fillet over here we can have a look this is a fillet over here okay so what we have done is we have made a shell now i need to close these regions okay from this point to this point it is closed then only it can get revolved else it won't okay so from this point i can again just click it over here so this is one complete shell section that i had developed through these references okay through these references now this is the main uh, shell that we have produced along with the primer slot and uh, this is the casing where the propellant or the gunpowder is placed to explode now we'll be making the section of the bullet okay now the topmost part of the bullet is uh, 138.5 but we won't go that high we would be saying uh, okay let us go 138 only so right from the base point okay right from this point I'll be saying that is 138.5 might be okay so this is the point I'll turn it immediately into construction so so that it does not co cause any jumbles to me okay so this is the inner wall of the shell I'll be making uh, one thing I'll be making this to this point and to oh sorry And just make it again okay the issue is that we have this topmost point right now i have a line over here that is starting from this point and this i feel is particularly uh, wrong somewhat so what i'll be doing is this dimension okay let's check i'll just bring it outside this dimension is wrong or something i'll say 125 is far better for me so this is 125 which is which, which i feel is sufficient okay so from this point i'll just drag to this point to this point okay now i'll just click here and i'll say mirror and i'll click this line as a mirror line okay and i'll be making a circle 
coming over here and I'll be saying two point circle to this one and to this one sorry I'll be saying circle and uh, two tangent circle so this one is the first tangent this is the second and this will be my uh, yeah so even if I even if I you know one minute yes this way so uh, no, it's happening one minute it's it's weird anyways i'll be doing one thing i'll just delete this one and i feel that we can start from this point okay from this point to this point that will be pretty okay and i'll thin this off okay i'll mirror it again from this point to this point and click it this way so oh sorry we are going wrong from this point to this point we are supposed to be my fusion is giving a message that uh, you should install windows 10 i feel that software should operate many conditions i don't god knows why these people get so many upgrades anyways uh, i'll say mirror i'll just click this one i'll say okay i'll say create i'll go in circle i'll say two tangent circle this is my first tangent this is my second tangent and this is my bullet okay okay now uh, anyways better than not i'll be saying fillet between these two points and i'll i'll just create a shell over here okay and uh, my bullet has a round tip it's not having a very sharp tip um, these round tips are basically uh, uh, added for much stability uh, in the air because uh, the single faces like points have a tendency to like you know turn up a bit so this is my bullet again this is my section for a bullet i'll just close this one to this point yes and i'll close this to my bullet line from this point to this point so my bullet section is also made so i have right now two sections the topmost is bullet and the second part is my region though i have made this as a first so now only one command is remaining that is revolve you can go in solids now you can just say revolve you can select the profile of the shell this one and the axis as this one make sure that it is 360 profile process the revolve axis okay sorry uh, i am going somewhat a bit wrong okay so this has to be the revolve axis sorry 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 so i'll say click this and uh, revolve and select this axis so this is the axis i'm mistaking the external one is the axis so i'll say i'm sticking in this one this is the axis okay now make sure that the angle is a type is the angle and angle is complete 360 round and one side and new body okay this way is the bullet made okay again go into the sketch click this one again say solid again say revolve and again click this axis okay so this is the way the bullet is made i'll just turn off the sketches so that you can get a complete clarity over the bullet over here so this is the bullet that we have made at any point of time you can just you know change the dimensions over here okay i mean this one i say 125 is less i say 130 is okay so i can just you know, drag this dimension up i can just finish sketch my bullet profile will automatically change and adapt to the size and shape that has been notified over here anyway so guys now we'll be attaching some uh, two surfaces uh, two metal properties to this so you can just you know modify and come into appearance appearance we are just going to attach some materials like you know uh, and i'll close this one i can go in physical materials okay before that so this is the materials i'll go in metal i'll say bullets are generally made up of copper copper steel so i'll be or might be brass or something like that but for a look i'll just attach a brass to the lower shell and i'll be attaching the bronze to the top most part so this is the bullet that we have made over here you can add some fillets to this over here some fillets f and uh, 0.5 might be so fillet this one is also 0.5 let us say you just have to press f for this let us say this comes at a fillet of 2 might be so and guys this is the bullet that we have made okay um, with just one command 
now i'll say inspect i'll create a section analysis and i'll just select this one so you can just have a look that this is the bullet the section of the bullet so this is the primer this completely is a shell in which the gunpowder uh, stays gunpowder is not never never filled up to the top there is some gap to you know um, accommodate the explosion and give speed to this projectile so the explosion and the gas the vacuum uh, in the present over here or the air present over here speeds up the bullet to the cavity and the bullet is shot outside the cavity so guys hope uh, you might have liked the tutorial and it's one of the easiest tutorial so you just need to have a precise um, sketching practice and uh, some basics of modeling so guys thank you thanks a lot for being with me subscribe the channel aerodesign studio and uh,